And this film is made to appreciate the, it's the support worker who has helped us at Murphy College. Sorry. <laughs> well, my name is Julie and I'm a learning coach within Murphy College. I'm Jared, I'm also a learning coach within Murphy College. Working day, I tend to turn up quarter of an hour, <coughs> ten minutes before class, um, turn up early, get into the class, uh, see how my students doing, see what work needs to be done for the day, um, find out how they feel about it. Mine is different this year because I work more one to one with the students. So I, I as John, I said, I always come in early because I got to meet the people student outside. Before becoming a learning coach, I used to be a nurse, so I think I've always been in the health and social care field. I dibble and dabble in journalism, filmmaking, and. <coughs> music and stuff, and I think I consider a job, but this is it, this is my job, this is my career. We started at the same time, yeah, we? Yours, is that? Yeah, starting with the same class. Yeah, that's right. We had a big, big class that we worked with at the same yeah. time. We've been here a long time. Good we... about eight years. Rubbed about eight years. Scary thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, the qualities of learning coach needs, I think we need to be approachable and friendly. You need to have good communication and listening skills. Yeah, empathy. Um, Non-judgmental and committed. Open-minded and uh, willing to take on new knowledge and learn new things. Sense of humour. Yeah, definitely sense of humour. You need to build a positive environment, learning the environment for the students. And you've got to have a good temperament, definitely. Most of us got the, either have got the learning coach training or working towards it. Yeah, a lot of us have got specialised degrees as well. Like, yeah. You know, my, my degrees are in, in the media, so they, they kind of put me in the media department mainly. I do work in other departments, but I kind of concentrate on media. Two main responsibilities. We do in-class support and we do one-to-one. -one. Um, we offer academic and pastoral support. One of the responsibilities is to facilitate the learning by reducing barriers people with learning difficulties or disabilities may face. And we've all, we're all kind of, we've become specialised in various learning difficulties as well. Yeah. You know, <coughs> we're a fairly qualified team. We've, we've got some, you know, yeah. quite qualified people within we our team. We all specialise in different areas, yeah. don't we? Yeah. yeah. So Billy, oh, being a learning coach, is rewarding and challenging because sometimes when you first meet an individual they can reject support can't they yeah but i think over time you develop a really good relationship like personally i always miss students when they leave yeah and sometimes a student can't articulate the needs they want so mm. they push us away but we're always there in case they need us the favourite part is when students succeed. Yeah, I was going to say that. When you have students you've worked with for a few years and perhaps they've progressed and gone on to university and, and you feel like you have helped them to achieve. You see the big smile on the face when they get the results. Yeah. I think it's just you've got to be really approachable. Approachable, yeah. You've got to ensure that they know you're there for them and uh, yeah. whatever kind of support they need, that's what we're there for. Um, and praise them as well. Yeah, you know, it's... Yeah, and it's always nice if there's a bit of common ground, isn't it? Yeah. They might not need us straight away, but we we stay around, always try and encourage them to... I think they always come around to think <laughs> yeah. that we're the good guys. Sometimes they think we're the bad guys in the beginning, but they always come around. Oh.